I'd like to show you today is a solar water purifier that requires no electricity, it requires no fuel, there are no filters, there are no chemicals, there are no consumables at all in this device. It simply generates purified water when the sun is shining. It's robust and inexpensive, and so it might be appropriate for deployment in these very remote regions which have no better options. Central to the design is a Fresnel lens which focuses incoming sunlight onto a copper coil and flow through the coil is controlled by a thermostatic valve which doesn't open until an adequate temperature is reached. So unlike some other approaches, it's fail safe. No water is produced which isn't fit to drink. As I was just explaining, there are just a few elements to this device. The blue barrel is the input bucket. It holds contaminated water. The water enters the coil here, and the water travels around and around the coil through the thermostat into the output bucket. And as you can see, there's a bright spot on the coil, and that's generated by this Fresnel lens, which is focusing sunlight to a point a couple of inches behind the coil. The spot on the coil is about three inches by four inches, and it heats this coil, and it gets quite hot. You can't touch it, but the heat travels up the coil up to this thermostat. Now there's a car thermostat in this housing position just like that. When the temperature of the water around the thermostat is of the operating temperature, this thermostat will open and the water will flow from the coil into the output bucket. Um, the device is fail safe, so unless the uh, thermostat is open, which means unless the operating temperature has been reached, no water flows. So it can only output water which is fit to drink. The other aspect is that no rotation or um, manipulation of this lens is required. In the morning, when the sky, sun is in the eastern sky, this focal spot will fall over here. During the course of the day, as the sun traverses the sky, this spot will travel in a linear fashion across the top of this coil to the other side. So the device operates more or less from about 11 a.m. to about 2 p.m., and in that period of time at latitude 38, we generate about four gallons of purified water. Now this is what a surge looks like. This is when the thermostat is opening up a bit because of the hot water against it and is letting a bit more volume through. So although it is uh, clouded over now, the sun was out pretty much all day and certainly from noon to three. And so I've collected here about four gallons of purified water from the input, which we're going to show you what it looks like. And just to make sure you know that this water is safe to drink, I'll have a little right now. Mmm, it's warm, so it's a little off-putting, but otherwise it tastes great.